what is up my crazy subscriber this is Joe King John City 4 and today we're gonna be talking about Battlefield 1 but before we get into the topic guys I wanted to talk about the gameplay in the background real quick now this gameplay is quite unique let me tell you guys why it's because I got 43 sniping kills 40 fucking 3 that's quite impressive right there I rarely do that because the only time I'll end up using the sniper is when I'm messing around like I'm not taking it seriously because you know I'm already gonna call the final game or I already like rushed so many times that I'm like you know what let me try out sniping for a bit and let me see if I'm good with it or not like I'll just I'll just do it for fun and well you know just for funsies I got 43 kills with a sniper fucking impressive right there and um, I think also the reason why I got 43 is because I, I had some luck in the battlefield because the enemy was just standing there on top of the hills, like getting themselves like be easily seen. I don't know how and why would they do that, but like it just gave me the advantage even though I was in lower ground. So that was quite an impressive move by me because I was in lower ground, they were in higher ground, so they had the advantage, they had the overlook, but yet they went down. So impressive, guys. If you guys enjoyed the gameplay, leave a like on the video. So, anyways. Moving on to the main topic of today, Battlefield 1, will it suck? <sighs> you know, I'm not trying to throw the salt here, but all I'm saying, it might suck. But I do want it to succeed though. I want to be, I want this game to be great, you know, it's World War 1, and I want it to succeed. I want it to be better than Battlefield 4. The thing is, you know, the past two games that EA has released, which is our FPS, uh, Battlefront and Battlefield Hardline, were not that good. You see, the problem with Battlefield Hardline was that there wasn't a wide selection of weapons. There was like four weapons per category, four assault rifles, four shotguns, four snipers, and four SMGs. And that's it. That's all you get. Four of everything. I'm like, what the hell? Why are we so limited on the weapon selection? That was quite... That was quite sad, man, because I really wanted Battlefield Hunting to succeed. And then the customization was pretty good. It's just that the, there wasn't a big selection of weapons. And then the first weapon, pretty much, it sucked. And then the second weapon was okay, and the third weapon was pretty good. And that's it. You'll be stuck with that one. Like the end of, on the Assault Rifle Division, I believe I was stuck with the uh, AKM at the end. Because that was the best weapon of the freaking game. So, it was very limited on the weapon selection, which I did not like from Battlefield Hardline. And also, the game is pretty easy. I don't know how can I explain it, but I did super well in Battlefield Hardline. You can freaking check my stats on Battlefield Hardline and... Um, and see how well I did. I freaking have a 2.26 KD or something like that. And I, I would usually go like 50 kills in Conquest with no problem. Like it was just insane, man. So um, that's why I dropped Battlefield Hardline like within a month. Because I consider it way too easy. It wasn't competitive. And also the competition wasn't there. It was more on Battlefield 4. Even after the release of Battlefield Hardline. And now Battlefront... The reason why Battlefront wasn't that good, it was because it wanted to please the casuals. You see, you can get like a guy like Markiplier, PewDiePie, or anybody who hasn't played any uh, any third-person shooter games or any kind of shooter games, and they will still they'll they will still do good. The reason why is because the accuracy and the aiming of the weapons were super simple. Like every single weapon was accurate. I can easily hit fire from across the map and I'll kill someone. That's how good I did in the freaking beta of Battlefront. Even though I only uploaded like two videos or one, I did pretty good off screen, to be honest. And it was just amazing. I was like, well, how can they release a game like this, man? I know it's Star Wars. I know they're trying to please the Disney crowd or whatever, you know, the kids. But come on, man. Give it a little bit of competition. Maybe the game would have been do doing good. But, you know, I felt like the game was just too simplistic. And also the weapon customization, there was none. The map selection, there was minimal map selection. Also, uh, the character selection. Oh, whoa, that was a lot of character selection. And also, there was a lot of emotes. So, oh, let's put more time on the emotes fucking kids of this generation i swear to god but yeah then no battlefront and battlefield hardline weren't that good and they were both made by ea dice so um so yeah man this battlefield one game could be questionable to a failure but i wanted to succeed to be honest like in my opinion i wanted to succeed i wanted to be the greatest you know game out there right now in, the, in this upcoming year because you know it's world war one who wouldn't love to play the, those kinds of game trench warfare you know it's gonna be insane in battlefield one but you know i have my doubts because of ea you know you all know how ea is you know battlefield 4 was released with tons of bugs that might happen again so uh, man start preparing because you know it might be a letdown it might be 50 50 you know the mood is 50 50 right now because you never know it's gonna have a lot of bugs or it's gonna have minimal content 
I have a feeling they might cut back a little bit on the maps because you know they're, put they're putting more effort on the graphics. I've seen the trailer and it looks like they're putting more effort on the graphics. They're putting more, uh, you know, details on the weapons and characters and you know on the maps and it looks like they're gonna be doing more graphic update. But what I'm fearing the most is that they might limit our resources, which is weapons, equipment, uh, you know, different camos because you know Battlefield 4 did offer tons of those things. You know, tons of weapons, tons of camo, tons of uh, you know equipment it's just insane and now hopefully battlefield one is the same thing you know hopefully it does offer tons of things so uh what is your opinion about this guys will it suck or would it not my opinion hopefully it doesn't so that is it for now guys if you guys want to hear more topics about battlefield one and also call of duty you know subscribe for more because it's going to be more crazy stuff coming up